We can use StatCrunch to calculate factorials, permutations, and combinations. I'm going to enter some values here into variable 1. I'll enter the values 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. And then I'm going to enter some values in variable 2. I'll enter the values 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now I'm going to do a couple of things here. I'm just going to use these values just because they're convenient, but I'm going to use them to find the factorials for the values in variable 2. Then I'm going to find the permutations where n is the values in variable 1 and r will be the values in variable 2. And then I'll do the same thing for combinations. So in order to find the factorials for the values in variable 2, I am going to click Data, Compute Expression. Now I'm going to build the expression. What I want to do is find the factorials. So I'm going to come down here to the factorial function, and I'm going to click Add Function. Now that put that here in the expression box. And what I need to do now is put, well, what column do I want to compute the factorials for? Well, the available columns are variable 1 and variable 2. I'm going to do the factorials for variable 2. So I'm going to highlight that, click it and highlight it, and then click Add Column. So the expression box says that it's going to find the factorials for the values in variable 2. And now I'll click OK. I can label the column if I want, factorial, and then hit Compute. And so what we have here then is this box that has the factorials for column 2, for variable 2. Now let's suppose I want to find the permutations and combinations for variable 1 and variable 2. So let's do permutation first. So I'm going to click Data, Compute Expression, Build, and then I'm going to go to Perm. Add function. Now, notice that there's a comma between the parentheses here. I, I'm going to put n first, so that's going to be variable 1. Add column. Now I'm going to hit the right cursor, and I'm going to put the column that has the r values in it. So I'll click variable 2 and click add column. So now the expression box says we're going to find a permutation where the n values will be the values in variable 1, and the r values will be the values in variable 2 and then I'm going to click OK. I can add a column name if I like, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to call it permutations, and then hit Compute, and there we go. Now we have a new column that has the permutations for 20, choose 5, where order is important, and 21, choose 6, where order is important, and on down. I can, of course, make these whatever I want. And we can do the same thing for the combinations, and this should start to look like a pattern now. I'm going to click Data, Compute Expression, Build, and I'm going to go to Combination, Add the Function. I have a comma again because I need to choose the N and the R. So I'm going to click Variable 1, Add Column, hit the right cursor so that I get to the other side of the comma. Variable 2, add column, OK. I'll call this combinations and hit compute. And there we go. We have a very nice column that has the combinations now for 20 choose 5, 21 choose 6, 22 choose 7, and on down.